What's going on guys, Fade Louie here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid taper on my boy, so stay tuned. We're going to start off by saturating the hair and combing everything in place. Doing this will give us a nice and neat canvas. It's very important. Okay, now that we're done laying the hair down, we can move on to our goat FX and create our first guideline. You always want to make sure you contour this guideline to they're either their head shape or their neck shape, just so that the fade or taper can look better. Now that we're done butting them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You always want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Once we're done setting in that guideline, we're going to then close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Don't be afraid to stretch the skin with your opposite hand to give you more space to blend. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Make sure to use the lever and its corners to do so. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Is greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support for the channel, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or go ahead and follow the Instagram. Now that we're done with the lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. We're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. As you guys can see, I'm using my comb to feed the hair into the clipper and I'm flicking out as much as possible. Now that the line is soft enough, I'm moving on to my one and a half guard and I'm going to use its corners and this lever to remove the line completely. Sometimes after using the one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners will definitely help. Here I'm going back to my previous guards and I'm detailing as much as possible. Here I'm using the three guard all the way open to debulk and I'm also using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. I'm detailing as much as possible with my previous guards, especially my one and a half guard all the way open.
Now that I'm done with my lower guards, I can move on to my clipper over comb method and use my horizontal cuts to debulk as much as possible. And also I'm using my vertical cuts to blend. Now that I'm done losing my clipper over comb method, I'm moving on to my shear work. As you can see, I'm grabbing the hair with the comb and feeding it into my fingers and then I'm holding it as tight as I can and then cutting it with the cutting blade of my shears. I'm also making sure I cut it at an angle and I'm also making sure that the hair falls properly. With doing this with the shears, you're able to build a silhouette and give it its shape. Again, I'm laying down the hair with the comb and then I'm picking it up with the comb, feeding it into my fingers and then holding it as tight as possible while cutting it with the cutting blade of my shears. And remember, you also want to cut it at an angle, whichever angle is needed at that specific spot. Now we're connecting our guideline that we made on the top to the sides. We want to make sure he has the best shape possible and his hair is very easy to tame when he gets home so I'm going to separate the front from the top of the capitis and also trim that up. Making sure that the hair is nice and damp so I can get the true length of the hair follicles. Now that we're done with our shear work, we can move on to the side taper and we're going to use our gold FX to create our first guideline. Now that we're done butting them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. Once we're done setting in this guideline, we're then going to close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now 
Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. We're then going to use the lever and its corners to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Before I finish up the taper, I'm going to make sure I pin up the hair so I don't cut any hairs I don't want to cut. Now I'm using my 3 guard all the way open and my comb to feed the hair into the clipper to debulk as much as possible. In order for me to make the taper as smooth as possible, I need to use my clipper over comb method and especially cut at an angle. Now that we're done with our clipper over comb, we're going to switch over to our foreguard all the way open and begin to debulk. Here I'm using my previous guards to detail as much as possible and I'm definitely using the corners because I don't want to go too high. Moving on to our good effects, we're going to make the back line as crispy as possible. Where I like to start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch using the corners of the blade. Also, for the beginners, don't be afraid to move the ear out of the way, it won't hurt them. Now that we're done lining up the nape area, we can move on to the sideburn and use our no guard all the way open. Now that we're done erasing our first guideline of the sideburn, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our second guideline. Now that we're done fading the sideburns, we can move on to our gold FX and line up the C cup. I always like to start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch, especially using the corners of the blade. And you also want to go as slow as possible, making sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer, because if not, then the hair is going to shift and you won't line them up properly. Here I'm detailing the beard some more, and I'm also using my one and a half guard to debulk. Going back to our gold effects, we're going to line up the back of the beard and we're going to make it as crispy as possible. You also want to be very gentle here because the, the skin is very delicate in this area. Before we line him up, we're going to debulk his hairline with the one and a half guard all the way open. Now that we're done debulking his hairline, we're going to use our gold FX to start off in the middle and work our way to the sides. Again, you want to make sure you take your time here and make sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Because if not, then the hair is going to shift and then you won't light them up properly. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support for the channel, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or go ahead and follow the Instagram. When you're lining up the bottom of the mustache, you want to make sure you're very light-handed because you could nick them with the teeth of the trimmer. Now that we're done lining up the mustache, we can move on to the bottom of the beard. We're going to start off at the middle and work our way to the sides. I wasn't able to get the razor work on camera, so you're mainly going to see me work with the trimmers.
What's going on guys, Fede Louie here, bring guys a brand new video, we're gonna be doing a mid fade on my boy, so stay tuned. We're starting off with our Gordy FX, creating our first guideline, contouring to his head shape. You wanna make sure not to press too hard and make the guideline too harsh, cause then it's gonna be harder to take out. Don't be afraid to use your opposite hand to either stretch the skin or move the ear out of the way to give you more room to blend. Now that we're done creating our first guideline, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Once you're done setting in that guideline, you're going to then slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below, or go ahead and follow the Instagram. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Also, just a reminder, don't be afraid to stretch the skin and give you more room to blend. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. This guideline is going to help us soften up this line and also get ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done erasing the line with our one and a half guard, we can move on to our three guard all the way open and debulk the parietal ridge. Now 
Now I'm using my two guard all the way open to blend into that three guard all the way open and get rid of that weight line between those two guards. Now I'm gonna use the clipper of a comb method to debulk and also make the flade as smooth as possible near the ridge area. Moving on to the back side, we're starting off with our no guard all the way open and we're creating our second guideline. Once we're done setting in this guideline, we're then going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. We are right on top of the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you spend more time here in detail as much as possible. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're gonna use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we're moving on to our half guard and we're going to use its corners and its lever to erase the line completely. The high density of the hair follicles and also the occipital bone does obscure the fade so you want to make sure you detail as much as possible here and make sure everything is even. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. This guideline is going to help us soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes after using the one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners would definitely help. Using our clipper over comb method, we're going to go ahead and blend the varietal ridge and make it as smooth as possible, connecting it to the sides. I'm using my vertical cuts to make sure I blend, and I'm using my horizontal cuts to make sure I debulk as much as possible.
Here I'm making sure the hair is nice and saturated and laid down and combed down properly. When doing clipper of a comb, I always like to make sure the hair is a little bit saturated so it can hold it down and I can pick it up properly with the comb. When you're using the clipper of a comb method, you always want to make sure you pick up the hair with the comb and then cut it with your cutting blade. Now that we're done detailing the fade, we can move on to the front line and go ahead and debulk the hairline with the one guard all the way open. Now that we're done debulking the front line, we can move on to our guard effects and start off in the middle, working our way to the sides. You want to make sure not to press too hard and also go slow enough that the hair fits into the teeth of the trimmer, because if not, then the hair is going to shift and you won't line them up properly. You also want to make sure to keep the corners as natural as possible and not to go too deep in. You also want to make sure you keep the vertical bars as natural as possible as well. This will help the fade look more complete. Now that we're done lining them up, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Dermy Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we do that, we're going to make sure we apply some shade gel so that the razor can glide better. Once you put the razor into the blade, you want to make sure you stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand and keep the razor at a 45 degree angle. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead and leave a super thanks down below or go ahead and follow the Instagram.